Hello everyone, I am the Play Gamer 3. Welcome back to another episode of Retro Unboxings. So to show you guys Clock Tower 2, the struggle with N. Now in reality, this is the third game in the Clock Tower series. The first game was only released in Japan. The second game came out in the West and so it wouldn't confuse anybody. They just called the second game Clock Tower. So in this game, in order not to confuse anyone, they called this Clock Tower 2. So in reality, this is the third game in the series, but in the West, it's called it's called Clock Tower 2, The Struggle Would End. So yes, I know, it's kind of confusing. So Clock Tower 2 is a survival horror point-click adventure game. The game was created by Human Interactive entertainment and published by age tech inc the game was released on october the 31st 1999 okay so this game is a spin-off of the clock tower series the stories and characters in this game have nothing to do with the previous clock tower games okay so the story um this is the short version because this game has a pretty deep story and it will take too long to explain it. So in the game you play as Ashley Hale. She is a schoolgirl who has been having dark visions of murdering people ever since she receives her father's amulet. She wakes up only to discover that those dreams has come true. There is a cold-blooded immortal male personality living inside of her head named Bates. So this split personality named Bates makes her do evil things, mainly kill people. Um, however, she has her amulet which keeps her safe from his um, advances for a short amount of time. Now due to her multiple personality disorder, she has been incarcerated in a mental hospital. So, as the story begins, she leaves the hospital. She's been adopted by this couple. They go to their house and um, evil, weird things start to happen in that house. So, yes, that's a short version, but yeah, there's a lot of murder <laughs> in this game. So gameplay is a lot like the second and first game. It's a point and click adventure game. You have to search the environments for for um, puzzles, um, items to solve the puzzles. Um, there is no fighting or well, no no guns, weapons in this game. If you run into an enemy, you have to hide and wait until the enemy. Um, goes away um, there are um, in level boss fights in the game where you can use weapons but mainly you just gonna have to run if an enemy sees you this game has 15 different endings depending on what you do um, throughout the game so the choices you make affects the game's story and the game's ending so yes uh, lot of a um, lot of story in this game okay so let's get to the manual so yeah so this was a rental well somebody rented out so that's the strategy guide so yes full colored manual which a lot of PlayStation 1 games didn't have back then so like always, I'll put the manual on a separate video. So the manual, it's in beat up shape. I mean, this was a rental. So it's the disc. So that's the your evil personality named Bates. And it's the disc. I don't know if you can see the creepy little girl holding a knife. <laughs> right there so 
So yes, Clock Tower 2. Point click survival horror adventure game. So yes, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. I will see you guys in the next video.